to Mr. McLean, you're next. Well, thank you, Mr. Chair, and I, I took Ms. Kwan's comments very seriously also, and I, I hope we can get to the bottom of this. Um, and you know, Mr. Chair, I'm new on this committee, so there's no history here, but I am not new to the Afghan plight uh, and the number of Afghan requests coming into my office to get these people to safety was enormous in the summer of 2021 and subsequently there too. And the questions were asked, what is the process here and how do we get through this? And what I've seen in this paper here and heard in the testimony is there seemed to be some kind of back door offered by somebody that wasn't clear on paper to everybody else. And I do think we need to get to the bottom of it. And I don't know why getting those answers is troublesome at this committee because understanding where the political influence may be to actually work through a crisis like this, whatever that may be, as long as the standard practice and people understand it going forward, that's, you know, fair ball. Transparency is what Canadians want. How were some people processed and other people were put in a queue that never got processed at the end of the day? What was the process? Who was in charge? Where was the manipulation of, okay, here's some people I know, uh, you know, call this person, get this done. Uh, this is something that I think is upon us to actually get to the bottom of at this committee. And I don't know why we're avoiding it because I get these questions all the time. You know, what happened here? Can you please find out? You're on this committee now, Greg. Can you find out what happened with this? And I've got hundreds of people still waiting to get in from Afghanistan that helped our troops. And I get sent photos of those people that are no longer on the list of people coming into Canada because I get sent photos of them at their funerals. So this is still a problem and we need to find a way through and make sure, number one, we bring as many people back here as possible. But number two, what was the process and how did we usurp that process? Let's get a clear understanding of it. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, 